I'm saying is they need to add a mechanic where you just fly out of the front of the car like that, man. When All right, guys. I'm back, and I got the game loaded up. Let's go, shall we? Oh, wait. One more thing. I do have to change the name of the stream and category. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And we're playing Metal... That's not how you spell gear. Oh, geez. I cannot type tonight to save my life. Solid 3. Snake Eater. Done. There we go. That's better. All right. Let's try out some Metal Gear Solid 3, dude. I'm actually pretty excited for this one. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed the first game whenever we were playing it. Um, or whenever we played through it. And the second one was pretty fun whenever we played that one. I believe it's slot 2. Yeah, there we go. Just tried it out, of course. We didn't play that much of it, but Snake versus Monkey? What the hell is that? I'm going to have to load that up just because I'm curious what that is. Like, oh, is it Circle to Select? Must be Circle to Select or something. Oh, I need to unmute the game, too. There we go. Circle, yep. Uh, vibration, blood, blah, blah, blah. Own view? Select first person view can type. Own view? That's weird. Screen adjustment, brightness. I think everything's fine. I don't think we really need to mess with any of that. I might need to invert that, actually. Snake versus monkey. I'm loading that up. I want to know what the hell it is. Select. Oh, never mind. Okay, we probably have to have. We probably have to have like a, a an existing save game or something like that, I imagine. Game. Why do we just got a black screen? Oh. This is Snake. I've made it to the sneaky part. Right on time, Snake. Wait, is this Being dragged out of the sack at two in the morning? I did is this best. the game? Rise and shine. Don't you love mornings, Colonel? Or is this the monkey thing? Being dragged away from their vacation. I'm sorry, but we needed you. Something big is going down. Very big. That's why. All right. So what is this important mission? I'll say it once and only once. I am not taking out any Metal Gears. Don't worry. <laughs> no saving some <laughs> VIP or old man. It's nothing like that. I'm guessing like this is something to do with the monkey stress, thing. Think about this it. doesn't like... Well, <laughs> I don't think this is the actual game. damsel in distress, but it is a rescue mission. Rescuing who? Apes. Yep, okay. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dude? Is monkeys. this Ape Escape? Your mission is to it's the ape escape the thing. And capture all of the monkeys. Again. You said monkeys? Yes, monkeys. This isn't really my thing. If you want your monkeys, you better ask Spike or Jimmy. Unfortunately, they weren't available. What about me? I was on vacation. <laughs> Snake, we need you. If you don't do this, who will? It's not like this is some weird asthma. You've heard of Snake Escape, uh, Ape don't Escape, right? That. This is the genre we turned over every leaf in. Why don't you make Sam or Gabe do the job? Snake. Isn't this just some monkey catching Oh, action? really? You've never Snake. heard of it before? I'm asking you. It's a uh, classic PS1 game. Himself. I think there may have been like a PS2 version as well. Natalie's but, um, that's well that's noted for having a really weird control well, scheme. Well, that was the like, it, it was one of the only, if not the only, dual analog nice. game that required dual analog. That. Hey, Doris Lady, that required dual analog on the PS2 or a PS1. Jesus, my brain's, brain's fried. Um, hey, thank you so much for the resub, dude. I appreciate it. All uh, right. But anyways, and if I'm not mistaken, it was made by Konami. So that's probably why they have like this little Easter egg thing here. Um, but basically, it's like a puzzle game where you run around catching these monkeys. Like... monkeys have fled into the jungle. Why they decided to have Snake suddenly become a, a ape escape protagonist, I have no idea, but... Jumping all around the place. Right. When you grabbed all the monkeys, your mission is complete. Gotcha. Commencing Operation Ape Snake. Operation Snake. Ape Snake. Let's go, dude. Capture a monkey, yell out the password. With the password, a warp device will activate. Understood. Yell out the password and a warp device will activate. 
What? <laughs> what even? What even is life, dude? <laughs> Escape from the jungle, Dragnet of the Apes, Dawn of the Apes, of course. We're gonna try one. We have to try one, man. Escape from the jungle. It's like a cartoony, very lighthearted game. Ape Escape is, and then of course Metal Gear Solid is like a little bit more of a serious thing. Now, I mean, like, I feel like Metal Gear doesn't take itself too seriously, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> the clash here Three, between the two, two is just <laughs> fantastic. One, start. I have no idea. Directional microphone. Microphone that can pick up small sounds. When equipped, it picks up sounds in the pointed direction. Okay. Okay, so there's a monkey. Is this a... <laughs> we have the, the stun thing. What's this? Monkey shaker? Special gun that knocks out monkeys. Press square to aim. Release to fire. Equipping it puts you in a monkey catching mood. Oh god. I can't aim. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> How do I could I like can I jump or go over or anything? No, okay. We have we have first person view though, right? So wait, did I catch it? Do I need to shoot it again? Do I just walk up to it? I have no idea what's going on here, man. Okay, no. Oh, we're on the ground now. How do I get up? X. Oh, we can dodge roll. How fancy. Okay. Uh, I think I scared one. Maybe, maybe we couldn't get that one because it was like up in on that log or something like that. Maybe if we run over to this one on the ground. Got it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just have to be able to, like, actually re uh, reach them. So when they're up there, I can't do shit. Is, do I have to, like, scare them down or something? Or is there a way for me to... How do we go down again? Triangle X. X, there we go. You can't see me, Mr. Monkey, sir. What? Stupid grass. How's the grass fucking me over right now? There we go. Get up. Up, up, up. No, up. Get up, snake. Snake. <laughs> snake, what are you doing? Move, snake. What? What is going on? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> this is so freaking dumb. <laughs> All right, well, he's gone. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous, and I love it for that. Are you coming this way? Damn it, dude. Hold on, you. You don't see me yet. Oh, God. How did we miss that shot? There we go. Okay, that's two. We only got seven more to go, man. We're... <laughs> this is... This is gonna be fantastic. What's that sign say? Don't enter. Oh, okay. Going well? Oh, yeah, man. It's going fantastic. <laughs> I didn't know what a uh, snake versus monkey was, so I figured I'd check it out, and I am not disappointed. I did actually hear before that this was a thing. So, like, I, I knew it existed, but I had no idea that it was in Metal Gear Solid 3. I also have no idea what the controls are, so that, that helps. If we shoot this one up here, will, will he, like... Will he fall? No. Yes. Okay. There's three. Where's the rest of these bastards in that? I can hear them. Do we use the, like, mic in some way? Oh. Oh. See, like, I see him up there. Can we, can we knock him down? Like, if we, we stun him when he's on the edge, will he fall over, I wonder? Or how does that work? Come back over here. Right up to the edge. Come on, monkey. There we go. Oh, God. So sensitive. Is he going to fall? He is. Let's go. Do you get any sort of bonus or anything, I wonder, for, for doing this? Or is there, like, <laughs> is it just for the laws? 
I can't help but imagine it's probably just for the lols. Like, how do I get up? Okay, hold X. It's, oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's five. Now this one, last time we shot this one, he didn't like actually fall down though. Oh, he fell on the other side. How do we, can we crawl under this somewhere? Can we go around it? Is there a jump or a climb button? I don't know how to get over there to get the rest of them. Because I, I, I do think the rest of them are over there. Especially since, you know, this one's like right here. And when we shoot him, he goes that way. Oh! Okay, I don't know if that was supposed to work the way it just did, but we, like, dodge rolled over it. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> did that... No, that didn't work. Uh... Oh, this one's got a shield? What? Excuse me, sir. Damn you. Come back here. How did I do that dodge roll? There we go. It might be, like, context-sensitive. I have no idea where he went. He'll probably come back. We still have three more, counting this this angry one here. God damn. Got him. Okay. Now we just gotta actually catch him before he wakes up. No! Snake, get up! Snake! <laughs> what are you doing? He's already up, isn't he? Where'd he go? I think the, uh, the remake, or the, ooh, hi. Not remake, but the remaster of Metal Gear Solid, I think has, like, the better first-person camera. But sadly, I have the, the original, not the, the improved version. The improved version also has, um, Metal Gear 1 and 2 included on it. Not Metal Gear Solid, but the actual Metal Gear 1 and 2. Thought I heard it for a second over there. Yeah, it's like up there somewhere or something. We just use stun grenades to knock them, knock them down. Like, <laughs> is that acceptable? Oh, I apparently scared one somewhere. I have no idea where though. Okay. Well, this is this is interesting. I do want to I do feel like I want to finish it. But let's get into the actual game, shall we? Before we use up all of our time messing around with uh messing around with this. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's something for another day, man. We'll do a uh a Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake versus Ape run. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get started with the actual game. Uh, I like Metal Gear Solid 1. I mean, I like Metal Gear Solid 2 as well, but I haven't actually played it much yet, so we'll just say that. Very easy, easy, normal, or hard? Let's do normal. Normal sounds like a good, a good place to start with. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. I'm expecting this cutscene to take about a half hour. I don't actually know if that's true, but I mean, <laughs> just how our experience with Metal Gear so far has been mostly cutscenes, so. <laughs> So this is technically the fifth game in the series, but I have no idea where it takes place in the timeline. Because it doesn't seem like the games always really release in, like, uh, chronological order. Flying over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Arm main parachute. 
Ready to go. Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cav okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Put out that cigar. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. That definitely looks like a younger snake to me. But I don't know if that's just like the extra fidelity or like. Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. Are you cold, Mr. Noodle? Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. You can turn the heater up a little bit more if you need to. I'm quite comfortable myself, but do what you need to do, love. Sunrise. Temperature minus 46 degrees Celsius. Two minutes to drop off. Stand up. Wait, did they say minus 46 degrees Celsius? Be at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. Holy shit, dude. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. I want to talk about cold. This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. Ten seconds to drop off. Stand by. Status okay, all green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. This is the first game chronologically? I thought. I thought Metal Gear was the first one chronologically, honestly. Like on the NES. But you certainly know more about the series than I do, so. <laughs> I will take your word for it, sir. News. Hey, thank you for the bits, Head Noodle. The CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB754 Design Bureau one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov, isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established design bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a design bureau, that's quite a success story, so why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Fair. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. He used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? 
We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted, and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate-range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The President demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the U.N.'s Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They mm. wanted us to return Sokolov. Of course. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? Metal Gear? At the time, we had no idea. <laughs> just guessing. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital <laughs> and handed him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my sight. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No, missiles. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For yep. half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting you don't say. nuclear tests at semi palatins Something to do Base with rockets. weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs? God damn it, Snake. For a <laughs> they moved in there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. <laughs> Not gonna be so virgin anymore, huh? <laughs> I'm surprised, like, uh, how grainy the footage was, just because that's a lot harder to compress, and obviously they have limited space on a on a DVD. But hey, apparently they made it work somehow. I was also reading an article about uh, Hideo Kojima having a ton of trouble. I think it was for Metal Gear Solid 1, actually. Um, not fitting the footage on the disc, but just getting the rights to, to put the footage on there, period. Like, uh, the, the people who originally filmed it didn't want to give him the rights to include it in the game. Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. 
Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface-to-air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat-proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six no idea. Vulcan cannons. Not even a small flu, man. It sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be. Yeah, I saw that pop up a couple times. The, the, the R1 indicator in the top right. Kind of neat that they included two different perspectives for the cutscenes. Gives you something to do while it's uh, doing its thing, I guess. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of, uh, was it Skyrim? Fallout 4? I think it was Fallout 4 where Bethesda was making a huge thing about like the ability to do stuff during the uh the cutscenes like not just being forced to you know just sit there and listen and talk back or whatever like being able to move around a small bit and and look around and do stuff like that turns out they had that talking technology back in what 2006 7 and he hit the trees i'm surprised he didn't get hurt looked like we might have lost something though whenever we hit the trees <laughs> Snake being dramatic as fuck, like. <laughs> no, you can just take the shit off like a normal person, dude. That's possible. <laughs> Such drama, much wow. Honestly, I think Metal Gear would make a really good uh, TV show or movie. I'm surprised they haven't tried it yet. Because honestly, I think Hideo just wants to make movies to begin with. So, like, <laughs> definitely younger looking. He's actually kind of cute. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory. And somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. Naked I'll be Snake. Referring Ooh. To a snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake. Well, you don't like License snakes? out of the blood feud between Kajim and Konami. Fair. Fair. Yeah, at this point, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm. Let's see. I'll be... Is it Big Boss? I'll That's Tom. Tom? Major, Major Tom. Tom. Of course it's this Major Tom. A sneaking mission. I can't remember what you Big Boss actually looks like. By the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if Cut I Cutscene ends, snakes. we're just in the boss flight. No. a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Like this, but older? Oh. Getting is that a hint? Subject. How exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies. <laughs> this is Major Tom for ground control. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, thinking too. About the backpack. That's what we lost in the tree. I knew down. we lost something. I see. Well, you better go back and get it then. You know where it is? <laughs> no problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy. Oh, we saw one of those in the ape section. Okay. So what's the what's the action I'll button? Is that progress over the X radio. square circle? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is one four zero point eight five. Oh, really? Same area. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, makes sense. They would reuse the maps. Function. Okay, Snake. 
Go get your backpack. And this is the first game where they uh, introduce the hunting mechanic, because that's a thing in like the fourth and fifth game too, right? Okay, so we can look around a little bit with the right stick. Clicking does nothing. Revival pill? Can wake up from fake death. Okay. Interesting. RC mate. Calorie mate. A balanced nutrition nutrition food. Press square to hold. Release to throw. Sh how strong button is pressed varies distance. Interesting. Okay. It's weird that it's not just considered a food, but instead like... I don't know. An, an item for us to use. It may be in 4, but you don't remember. Kind of in 5. Okay, if I remember correctly, the section with the ivy was was across the other way here. So, let's go back over there. Okay, how do we... Oh, hi. There's a snake on the ground. So, do we... Do we just hold X, or do we have to press X hard? I don't know. We can just tap it. It's weird that, like, the dodge roll, the, the crouch prone, it's all on one button. It's probably going to take some getting used to. Okay, so square, circle. Nope, that makes us knock. X? Nope. Triangle. Triangle. We climb with triangle, of all things. Sure. Why not? Oh damn it, snake! <laughs> I didn't want to jump off. I was trying to, I was trying to grab it, man. Do we need to like circle, triangle again? There we go. I see you've retrieved your backpack, snake. I have. To what of it? a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. Oh, okay. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, so a little, little right. extra dimension on the uh, inventory management thing here. Survival is fundamental to this mission. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun. That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So oh get shit, okay. Happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international... So wait, how do we... <laughs> what do we do if we have to take a shit? Do we have to, like, collect it and take it back home with us? An international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Got it. Then We're completely on our own. I understand. Myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. <laughs> Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. 
fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So, how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring oh, you Oh, good. <laughs> good to know, man. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. This the first time. member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm Keep it in your pants, Snake. Nice to meet you. Paramedic. As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. <laughs> I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. Not exactly allowed I to use real names right now, people. I'm really hoping the game remembers that for me. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency. 140.96. So and that. saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh. Speaking of snakes, you remember the oh, boss, don't you? A little you? skippy skip on the disc there. A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years is it then? Boss. Thought we weren't using names, guys. That's right. It's me. <sighs> Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 you hours. You counted the minutes, <laughs> or the hours, rather? You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Creepy. Really? Yep, same. I, I agree. About you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need <laughs> me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. <laughs> Major Tom is a contender. Sure. <laughs> what about how to think like a soldier? Oh, how God. How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. Snake ain't picking no sides, man. Strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics so is this where his whole on the battlefield. cold mercenary persona thing them. came from? They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? God damn no, it, Nate. It had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural-born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no... <laughs> I mean, hey, man, if you ever need to borrow it, I'm just saying. Enemies. Oh, fuck. Drop my controller. <laughs> these cutscenes take forever. You're not kidding. I said it was probably going to take like a half hour. Ah, shit. When the controller fell, it hit a button. So now they're not talking anymore. 
I do whatever I have to do to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Oh, shit. That skipped a lot of text. People aren't the one... That's fine. We're going to end up coming back and replaying this game at some point <laughs> from beginning to end. So, we'll see it then. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. So, there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? It would be really nice if they at least said who was talking. <laughs> so whenever you do, like, flip through the text here, we know who's saying what. Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right, your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right, the legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit, a group of heroes that brought the war to an end, saved the world. <laughs> As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah, I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have here with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you were always the best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. Probably pretty rusty. Not to worry, I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from abroad, aboard a permanent class, a permit class, holy fuck, I can't read, submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located in the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Holy fuck, that took forever, dude. <laughs> is that it? Are we done with the cutscene? Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Apparently not. Knife in one hand, trank in the other. Commencing virtuous mission now. COVID's gone. Let's read a book aloud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just glad my cough is mostly gone at this point. Otherwise, wow, I'd be fucked. <laughs> God, please don't go straight into another cutscene. What kind of mission is it again? Uh, we're here to infiltrate a building and uh, trying to retrieve a, a scientist that was taken out of the Soviet Union originally, but then traded back to the Soviet Union to get the missiles out of Cuba. Um, but now we got to get them back out. And <laughs> now that the game has actually seemed to have started, we have to take a break, guys. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> We're going to play a little bit more of this, of course. I'm not going to switch to the next game just yet. I definitely want to actually play some of it. But the ad manager is going to force me to run an ad here in the next few minutes. Um, so, yeah, go to the status viewer on the menu. Okay, we can do that real quick. We still have technically three minutes left. Okay, not this many. I didn't mean to go to options. Uh, back. Back. Is it select? This one? Not unlocked yet. Never mind. Okay. And thankfully, it did save all of the uh, all of the numbers for us because my memory is not great. I definitely would have forgot that. Before we do actually go to the break, though, we might as well figure out how the uh, backpack things works because that wasn't in Metal Gear Solid 1 or 2 or Metal Gear for that matter. So we have different camouflage and face paints that we can equip. I'm assuming different areas that we're in will uh, require us to use different different ones nothing worn on the upper body so we can't actually be naked snake there you go for the thirsty viewers out there i'm assuming the plus is how visible we are so in that way wouldn't we want to do like camera rating and top right so that's at 10 percent that's at 30 percent so negative 15 takes us to 
15, negative 25. Okay, 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 okay. So depending what area we're in, some things work better than others. Oh, and it's going off of what our, our current one is. So right now at negative 10%, Tiger Stripe would give us plus 40, taking us to 30. Yeah, okay. So Tiger Stripe is what we want to wear. And Naked is just blank. Got it. Okay. So different areas, we want to wear different things. That makes that makes sense. And then we have the actual backpack. So we have a directional mic. So I'm assuming we can only carry so many things. 2.8 kilograms, weapons 3 of 8. So is there any reason why I can't just go ahead and equip all of it? No. I still don't really understand what the calorie made is for because we can't seem to actually eat it. And then we have these as well. We probably want to have the fake death pill. Oh, we have everything equipped right now, which is fine, I guess. Anti-personnel sensor? I wonder what that does. I'm sure the game will explain it in very high detail. <laughs> he actually kinds cute. Not eaten yet. Taste unknown. Oh, so we can actually eat it, like, somehow. Okay. So we can carry around a few different kinds of food. Weird. It's going to take a little bit of uh, time to get used to the all the new mechanics, I think. But I, it seems a little bit more in-depth, though. I like that. It seems like it's going to be good. But we're going to go ahead and take that break now, guys. We'll be back in, like, three to five minutes. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Things has changed around here. Oh. Hey, watch your back around here, man. Yes, we're going this way. I was going too fast. Crazy. Wasn't able to follow him because I was getting for. Oh shit! We are being shot at. Okay. A little, little bit off road. Nope. All right. So bad? It'd be nice if we had a gun or something to, you know, maybe Jeez, shoot back. Holy crap! Oh, you don't say, man. I just took like 20 bullets to the back, but yeah. Now you realize that there's a freaking car on us. Hey, we can bunny hop higher? Hey, look at that. I'm just a lie. Oh, well, okay. You know what? I was going to say I'm the liability here, but actually I think you might be right, man. <laughs> Stay with right. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry. 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 Oh, my Lord. I'm going to fail the first freaking mission in the game, man. I see it happening already. Can we, like... Can we can we go backwards or something? Holy shit! What what is going on? Why can't I drive straight? Thank you. Okay. Look. Oh my lord! These cars everywhere. Don't y'all know to watch for bicyclists? Okay. Get on the bike. Yeah, I'm I'm trying. Stay with Ryder. I would love to stay with Ryder. I don't even know where he's at anymore. Where's our stamina bar? Don't we have like a stamina bar somewhere? Does it not show it to us? It might not show it to us. I don't remember. Holy crap. These are some tight alleyways. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. We're catching up. They waited for us a little bit. Um, Are we going? Yep. We're going down here, I guess. <laughs> there we go. We caught up. See that? Oh, and we lost some fat. All that extra exercise, man. Getting thrown off our bike repeatedly. It really helped out. <laughs> Losing some weight. We looking good. Why you bother coming back? I'm trying to like match this dude's speed, but I'm either going too fast or too slow. There's no in between. That's one of the most annoying things in video games, by the way. Whenever like you're supposed to be following someone, but they are slower than your run speed and faster than your walk speed. Like, man. <laughs> Showed them niggas who's gangster. Ride a nigga. So when you leaving, Carl? I ain't sure. Thought I might stay. Things is fucked up. Well, the last thing we need is your help. Ah, oh, man, I won't let you down. I swear. Hey, we gonna call some hood rats and chill the hell out. You want some? I got a whole lot going on. I'm tired. I'll catch y'all later. Hey, yo, just drop in. We all hanging out. Gia, and get yourself some colors, fool. And a haircut. It's embarrassing to be seen with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Some of these models look a little, uh, a little ridiculous, man. I do want to try out, now I haven't seen very good things about them, to be honest, but I do want to try out the new HD remasters that they've done of them. They look interesting, to say the least, you know? A little bit of, uh... A little bit of polish, a couple updates or whatever, and I think it would actually be a pretty decent way to play the games. But sadly, they uh, weren't amazing on release. From what I've seen, I haven't personally played them, so... You know, it could be better than what I've been led to believe, but... I don't know. Some of the, the rain textures and the, the, the water textures were, like, just all messed up. Some of the models just looked absolutely ridiculous. And honestly, like, this game doesn't look that bad, you know? Some of the models are a little bit jank, but... And obviously, it's a it's a lower resolution, but it doesn't... I am the best cyclist in the world. <laughs> in GTA San Andreas, that is. Real life, not so much. Hardly. <laughs> I should compete. Man, didn't you see whenever we played uh, Mountain Bike Adrenaline? Dude, we were the number one cyclist in the world, man. It was crazy. So should we be like... I wonder if we should be hunting for some food and things while we're going through here. Or can we just get to where we're going and then find food indoors like we did before? Or... What is that sound? Oh, they're gators. Nice. Can we get some gator meat? Tranquilizer gun. Press square button to aim and release to fire. Put on off suppressor with circle button. Okay, we'll... I'm, I'm pressing circle. Do I have to press circle here? There. Okay. Wait, can you actually not hear it? Is a trank, like, good enough to... Oh, God. Are you alive? Oh, I think he's back. <laughs> How do we use the knife portion? Oh, God damn. <laughs> that jump scared me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Um, okay. Uh, so we have the gun and knife, like, combo. Press firmly to stab. Press it repeatedly to make a... You know what we should do before anything else? Honestly, save. <laughs> so we don't end up having to go through that that cutscene again. Saving the game, Snake? Yes, please and thank you. Checking memory card. Memory card slot one, please. New file, yes. I do have the official memory card in slot one. Hopefully this won't take too long. Come on, game. Chugging along. Let's go. I mean, the first save always takes the longest on these types of games. Or just old games in general. I'm assuming it has to write, like, extra data the first time or whatever. And then it just updates, like, where you're at in the game after that. Hey, Snake. You ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? No. Nope, what never. It's a what the hell is Godzilla? Haven't seen it? Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. Oh my god! <laughs> <You> <laughs> it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I fucking can't, Snake. What so the what fuck? Happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, oh and humanity god. has no way to stop the monster. <laughs> Doctor Sirazawa develops a new type of weapon. I fucking hate him, dude. Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo. <laughs> Maybe that's why my pants are so tight right about now. It was originally oh my god. Movie. But they made an American version. Hey, too. thank you for the five I bits, Noodle. I the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious uh, anti nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? 
That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why is that? <laughs> 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. Holy you fuck, they're really? Going to be making Godzilla movies then? Dude, they just made one, like, Everybody what, loves two years ago or something? You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie-watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be I just want to remind everyone, all we did was save the game. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's what triggered all of this. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. Why so many cut? Because Ko uh, not Kojima. Yeah, no, Ko Kojima just wants to make movies, man. That's I swear, that's all he wants to fucking do. He, he doesn't want to make video games. He just they force him to make video games, so <laughs> he fucking deals with it. Like, okay, I'm assuming going after the Gators isn't the brightest idea. Um, where are we actually trying to go though? Are they gonna like chase me down or no? Nah, I think we're, I think we're good. This is every time you say, every time, guys. <laughs> it's fucking like don't get me wrong. The Metal Gear games that I've played are fantastic, but they're also the most ridiculous things in the world. <laughs> like it's so fucking what? Kojima is like on acid or something, man. The dude's crazy. Legitimately crazy. I really need to play Death Stranding. Like, really need to play Death Stranding. The Kingdom Hearts of Spy... Kingdom Hearts is not that bad, man. Like, it's fucking crazy, but at least with the cutscene thing, it is not that bad. But, yeah, okay, story-wise and shit, I see, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I get it. I get it. A man wrote a book to justify his fan service character? What? I don't know anything about that. You'll have to explain and then send me this book and this fan service. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. <laughs> They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK 47s and grenades. Think Snake's p pants are getting tight again, dude? With them AK 47s and grenades? Snake? Your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. So I've been told. Can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on we how go well again. you use Aww, your camouflage. Oh shit. Here we go again. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The uniform have a good night, Rue. lets you pick your uniform. First day of not so many classes, that's awesome, man. Face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. Okay. Be stealthy. Got it. I, I can handle can that. Probably not. I'm going to get spotted so much. Looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. Makes sense. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? You got it, dude. He didn't write a literal book, but he wrote a crap load of stuff about it. About character's name, if I remember right about her. Breathing through her skin because she's typically in bikini top and shorts or something like that. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so our camouflage is pretty good here. I'm not... I don't actually see these guys, so we might not have to crawl yet. I'm so thankful that we have the R1 camera back again, though. The first person camera back. 
Oh shit, maybe they are near. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No, snake, get down! Snake, how do I go prone and stay prone? Jesus fuck. Oh god. <laughs> I told you we were gonna be spotted, dude. This is fucking. Uh, okay, uh, hold on. This is fine. This is fine. God damn it. <laughs> is there auto aim? Is that a thing in this game? Fuck me, man. Am I hitting him? There we go. Okay, now he's down. Oh, fuck. L1 for auto aim? Okay. So hold square L1. Yes. Uh, maybe? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm assuming it takes a moment, though, for the trank to take effect. I think, honestly, I'm just gonna let us die, man. Because, <laughs> like, we're already pretty much fucked at this point. So I think the best thing for us to do is just die, and hand-to-hand -hand is better in this game, too? Okay. I have to try and keep that in mind. I also need to figure out, like, how to actually go prone and stuff. Circle and right analog? Wait, what? Circle is the attack button. Right analog just looks around, though. Or left analog, rather? Okay. Oh, cool. You can walk with the, uh, with the circle button. I'm not answering the call right now. It's probably just something stupid like, hey, dumbass, you're about to die. Yeah, hand-to-hand -hand does actually seem pretty decent. It definitely has a, uh, like, registers your hit a hell of a lot better than Metal Gear Solid 1 did. How do we loot these bodies, though? Because it mentioned they have, like, AKs and shit, right? Do we have to, like, crouch on them? No? Teabagging doesn't seem to work. It ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Circle? Circle no weapon. Er, well, square. Okay, so it's like Metal Gear Solid 2. That makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Someone kill me. Yeah, square. Fake death pill. And then if I just stay here, I'll actually die, right? Snake is dead. Okay. Continue. We'll reload our save, and then we'll, we'll do it right. <laughs> Go far right. Okay. Okay, so if we crouch... Where did they see me from? Because I'm still not sure where the hell they're even at. They saw me from somewhere, but I don't know how or why. Well, I mean, I know why, I guess. I was running around like a dumbass, but... You encountered another flat earther? Dude, what is up with you and attracting flat earthers? <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? I'm too scared to stand up. <laughs> like, I feel like we probably don't need to stand up, or um, we probably don't need to crawl, rather, at this point. But, like, if I stand up, I feel like I'm going to get spotted, man. Are we good? I'm going to risk it. Stand up. Dragon up. Hey, a sniper rifle. Dope. Okay. Adjust scope with triangle. Let's go. 
I'll get to meet them soon. Wait, what? Do they do they work at my place of employment? Wait, it's not like the new guy, is it? That just got hired? Is that who you're talking about? Because I met them today, the the new guy. We didn't we didn't talk at all about our our. <laughs> you're fucking kidding. <laughs> Seriously, we didn't. <laughs> How the fuck, man? How are you gonna... Oh my god. I, can't, I just can't with people. How the hell are you gonna believe, like, that the Earth is flat in this day and age? Like, it kills me that something that, that was proven false, you know, how, how many years ago? Hundreds of years ago? And now you have access to, like, all of the world's knowledge in your pocket. And for some reason, what you take from that is, hey, the Earth is flat. Like, bruh, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> like, I just don't get people. Okay, I don't see anyone... The earth is shaped like a chicken nugget. I would subscribe to that before I subscribe to the idea that it's fucking flat, dude. I need to turn down my mic just a little bit, I think. How about that? Is that... that I think that's a little bit better, maybe. My uh, monitoring, it sounded like it was peaking a little bit. and Try not to do that. I'm, like, so scared to do anything, man. I feel like we're gonna fucking die again. Okay, I don't see anyone. We might be okay. Oh, wait, shit. Okay, there's one person there. So... Okay, hold on. If we go with this... It'll take a moment unless we shoot them in the head, right? That's the way it worked in Metal Gear Solid 2, at least. Right? If we trank them in the head, they go down instantly anywhere else, and it takes some time. Yeah! Okay. So now, presumably, that was the only one. So if we unequip weapon... Drag the body somewhere it hopefully won't be noticed. Like maybe in the tall grass. Yeah, this dude's just taking a just taking a nap, you know, on the job. That's all. Now kill him with the knife. Okay. Good call. Good call. So if we hold, we stab, right? <laughs> just fucking <laughs> Uh does this does this actually work or because <laughs> it doesn't seem to be doing anything? Or we just wait, is he is he is he done? Is he dead? I think he's dead. I think we killed him. Can we get extra loot from him or no? No, okay. Can we collect that thing? Oh shit, hi there. What is, what, what, Kojima, dude, what do you want to shoot it? Okay. Uh, we'll leave the suppressor on just because I don't know if there's anyone else around here. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what, what even is this game, man? <laughs> this is, this is a fucking, is that, do we use that to like distract people? Oh, okay, I see a I see a dude over there. Can I aim up high enough from here? I can. I can't really see you though. There's a blade of grass in the way. And I don't have like Okay. Think? Oh no, you're still crawling. Okay. If I let go easily, it shouldn't shoot. 
Oh, okay. That was scary. I'm not going to lie. I'm assuming something else we'll have to worry about in this game is the wildlife, like, giving away our position. He's probably going to, like, come back up here at some point. There he is. Hopefully there's no one watching you. No, get get up. Okay. Drag him off to the side and then murder him just for the fun of it? I <laughs> I, I'm assuming, like, the benefit there would be um, him not waking up and... and you know, giving away our position or whatever. Or just for the laws. It may be just for the laws. Like, what led to this conversation was you asking him about his business because he said something about having two terabyte phone or maybe cloud to your other coworker to run his distribution business. So, okay, I'm not, I'm just not. <laughs> I mean, look, at the end of the day, people are free to believe whatever they want to believe. That's fine. But like... Bruh. How? I just, I don't know. I just don't get it. Like, how you can believe that, you know? There's a boss in this game that is so old you can save mid-fight, put the PS2 clock forward, and he dies of old age. That's fucking great. <laughs> that, I love that, man. I remember watching a YouTube video about, uh, Kojima wanted to do something in one of the games that took like two weeks in real life like real time to complete in one of the, the, the games I don't remember if it was Metal Gear Solid or a different game that he was working on Um, but like people in playtesting were getting so frustrated with it that he ended up having to remove it was basically forced to even though he really wanted to do it just like again the man's just insane dude Okay, so it specifically showed us the beehive. So I'm assuming if we knock down the beehive, maybe it'll like fall on that dude's head or something. And that's a way to get get him done with. Or get him dealt with. I also see another one of those little things, which I can only assume can be used as like a distraction device. I don't know <laughs> what else they would be there for. Wait, did that not do anything? Oh god, lay down. Did I hit the wrong thing? Oh shit, I did. <laughs> that wasn't the... <laughs> oh, that was food! Who's that? Hi, friend! <laughs> oh god, oh god! <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> no, up, snake, get up! Fuck me! Uh, oh no, oh no, oh god, yep. Oh good, there's more of them over there. Oh, and the Trank finally went into effect. Uh, Snake, please get up. Oh my god, dude, we're gonna be fucked. We're so screwed already, <laughs> this, this is going well. Oh god, there's people everywhere, there's so many of them. Okay, yep. Did he just get, like, shot by one of his own dudes or something like that? I think this is, like, seriously a stealth game, man. Like, much more so than the other ones. I think this one's gonna be all about staying stealthy. Someone just throw a grenade? Knocked out, knocked out. You're not knocked out yet. And there's still someone else around here. Somewhere. I don't see where they're at, but they obviously see me. Because they're still shooting me. I mean, we're probably going to die. Oh, he's right fucking here. Okay.
Okay, now ration. Okay, must have went into the backpack. Science can't be changed wasn't my thought. That was what he was insisting to me. What? <laughs> I don't I don't follow. <laughs> like who's changing science, man? <laughs> like What's that got to do with your weird ass belief that the earth is flat? Okay, food. You bloco maloco eat. Oh, that's stamina. Okay, well, how about the calorie mate thing? Will that give us actual health? I want some more. No, that's also stamina. Well, that's handy. So how do we recover health now? Is it just not possible to? Or does health just, like, recover naturally over time? By waiting. Okay, yeah. So it's just a it's just a time game at that point. Is there really a Deadpool movie coming out with Hugh Jackman? Yes. Oh shit. Somebody's awake. Where? Resting rather? Wait, is that like is there a difference between, like, just hanging around and then resting? Because, I mean, just just time seems to be working, too. But is that, like, a command that we can use to, to stay in one spot and rest or, like, pass time? Because I think it's... Is it Metal Gear Solid Five where you can, like, smoke a cigarette to, to pass time and rest? Ryan finally did it. Ryan did finally do it, man. Finally convinced Hugh Jackman to reprise his role as Wolverine, man. Not performing any actions may help recovery. Okay, okay, okay. I gotcha. Kept using science as a backing for things and stating science is always accurate. And I say that science has been changed before due to gathering of new evidence. Yeah, I mean, I believe in science, too. And that's why I believe that the Earth is round. Like, <laughs> like, not only do I believe in science, and that leads me to believe the Earth is round, but also the fact that, you know, we've been to space and we can see that the Earth is round. That's also a pretty big deciding factor in my, my beliefs here, dude. Like, I'm... <laughs> I'm pretty sure when we go to space and take pictures that uh, that gives us a good idea of, of the Earth being round or not. But, you know, like I said, people are free to do what they want to do, I guess. It won't change anything in the grand scheme of things. Likely think that's fake, too. I mean, that's fair. I'm sure they do. I mean, how, how else could you justify to yourself the Earth being flat? You know, unless you deny the fact that we've ever been to, to space and uh, or at the very least, you would have to believe that everyone that has been to space is lying to you, which is just crazy to me. But whatever, teach their own, I guess. Like, I can hear this dude talking, but I don't actually know where from. So I'm just going to go across this rickety-ass bridge. Oh, no, snake. Snake, no. Uh, how do I get back up? Is it X? Please, nope, it's not X. Fuck me. It's probably triangle. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Oh, that's right. We do have that positional mic thing. That would have That would have worked well. Okay, try this again. This time, actually shoot the right thing, not the fruit. I'm assuming this guy's, like, allergic to bees or something. 
Oh no, it just makes him run away. I mean, that's fine too. Now that was the only guy in the area, right? At least I think it was. Am I done at two or three? Uh, whenever, probably two, two thirty, around there. And I think we are gonna end up just playing Metal Gear until the end of the time tonight, just because it takes so long to get into with the the way the cutscenes are and stuff. Um, and then next time, what we'll do is we'll play 007 first, and we'll roll for the second game. Well, this time I don't hear anyone, so maybe, maybe they came with the, uh, with everyone else. Okay, stand up. God damn it. Okay, triangle? Is it triangle? I'm hoping it's triangle. Yes. Okay. Thank fuck. Okay, the game really doesn't want you running across the bridge, which, I mean, makes sense, I suppose. There's a dude right there. Uh, what do we got? Suppressor? Or suppressed, uh, trank? Some mushrooms. I'm assuming that's another thing we can eat. I wonder if it's possible, like... Because it, it doesn't tell us what the different things we collect do until we try it for the first time. So I'm just waiting until we pick these mushrooms and then it's like, hey, you're dead. <laughs> that's, that's honestly what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm expecting to happen. That was the part that blew your mind. He kept using science as backing. It was stuff that he was leaning more towards pseudoscience. Then he asked me if the... Oh, hi. I'm just not going to move. There's... A whole party of people. Okay, you guys are going across the bridge. That's fine. You can go over there. You, though. Fuck. There we go. Those guys are gone enough. How do we collect the mushrooms? Can we collect the mushrooms? Do I need to maybe attack them? Snake. Whoa, snake, turn around. Thank you. Knife. There we go. Our mushroom. I see more. Oh, shit. I heard someone. Okay, good. They don't actually know that we're here. I would prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> Just slowly stab this guy to death. It's fine. Oh, is he dead already? No, he's not. We just couldn't see the the Z's. Uh, Y, no hit. Thank you. Don't mind what's going on on the screen right now. It's fine. This is this is perfectly normal. Seems like a nice guy for the most part, though. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't have any problems with him when I was working with him today. But still just blows my mind, man. The things that people believe. I mean, I heard him. I knew he was talking a little bit about, like, what he does on the side or whatever. His business that he has. But I never would have expected from that. You know, for him to be a flat earther. Might as well collect more mushrooms. Or we'll sit up. That's fine too, I guess. Snake. Co collect the mushrooms, please. Wait, can trees and things actually be knocked down? No, probably not. Okay, I think this is the next area, right? I'm assuming that's what it means since, yeah. Since, like, the, the screen was all, you know, zoomed in. Not zoomed in, but it had the letterboxing on it. 
That's what it seems to do whenever it's doing a transition between zones. I know I have goffy beliefs myself, but Flat Earth always blows my mind. I'm assuming you mean Goofy. <laughs> Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. Gothy beliefs? Let's go, dude. Around the perimeter. Are you a witch? I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast, northeast. section. Okay. Got it. I'll forget that in a minute. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Aw, that's sweet, Major. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. I don't really know if I'd say I have any goofy beliefs or gothy beliefs. <laughs> I guess the, the the most controversial thing for me um, is I'm I'm somewhat convinced that we live in a simulation. I I at the very least would not be surprised if scientists someday were able to prove that we lived in a simulation. Like, I'm not really convinced of anything, I guess, but that one would not surprise me at all. Just because if you run the numbers, man, it makes more sense for us to be living in some kind of mass simulation than it does the one world that, that or I'm sorry, the one universe, one timeline, whatever you want to call it, that is likely to unlock the ability to simulate entire world's entire universes to a uh, somewhat reasonable degree, you know? So, I don't know if I necessarily believe that we're in a simulation, but I wouldn't be surprised if we are either. That's my one thing. And also, just the way that, like, quantum mechanics and things work, it's so weird. Like... The, the idea that, that things don't have a, a, a real state of being until a person or something with consciousness tries to measure it. Like, that whole thing, too, just kind of blows my mind, you know? Like, if, if the universe is real, then why wouldn't things just... Get down, snake, please. Why wouldn't things just happen however they happen? Like, why why does matter at the quantum level exist in every state at one time until you look at it? And then all of a sudden it decides which state it wants to live in. You know, like, that's, that's weird as hell. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but it does make sense as a programmer, you know? In order to save on calculations, something that you could relatively easy do, relatively easily do, to uh, to make a simulation possible, would be to only simulate what is absolutely necessary, and everything else you would just estimate. Such as you would, you know, the large things like people, animals, uh, objects, etc. Whenever they are in within range of, of a quote unquote conscious being or a player, if we're going with like a video game analogy, you would simulate all of that stuff um, by estimating all of the finer details 
And the the smaller stuff, once you you know zoom in on it or whatever, then you would simulate that with a high degree of accuracy, because now people are, are looking at it. It needs to be simulated with a high degree of of accuracy. You know what I mean? I mean I'm not explaining it very well because I'm also trying not to get murdered here, but you get the point, I'm sure. Far few, far too few bugs. <laughs> I mean, fair, true. I don't, I don't have an argument against that. Whoever made this universe certainly has some uh, high-level programming skills, that's for sure. Although, technically, there's nothing stopping all of it in the simulation theory. Um, there's nothing stopping all of history to be false, right? Like, all of history could have just been implanted in all of our minds at the same time. And, uh, we would have no way of knowing any different. Everything that we've gone through could just be a fake memory implanted into all of mankind to serve the simulation. And so then say there is, like, some sort of quote-unquote game-breaking bug. What they could do is just fix the bug change everyone's memories to get rid of it or whatever and then continue the simulation from where it set off or you know whatever okay so i need probably to change my camouflage so we're in a simulation making more simulations quite possibly i mean there's nothing stopping that from being possible at the very least you know like You, you can make simulations that simulate their own things, like within the simulation. Now, obviously, we haven't gotten AI to the point yet to where it can make its own um, programs to the degree that, that we can and stuff like that. But we're getting there. I mean, we're already getting better and better at making AI that can make art, as an example. You know, AI that can write stories, that can... There's AI out there right now that can write code, etc., etc. It's only... Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> can they actually, like... Is there any way for them to see me in here? If we just... <laughs> if we just stay here forever, <laughs> will we be okay? I mean, our alert phase is going down. They can't see me. <laughs> we might be a <okay>. fuck <laughs> shit dude oh my god they're throwing grenades hi if the bodies pile up in front of me they won't be able to see me i don't know what to do here uh i mean i guess we do have that sniper rifle this isn't exactly the right place to use a sniper rifle at but uh, it's the only real gun we have um not camouflage backpack weapon oh we could use maybe we could use one of the grenades actually that's not a terrible idea Like the, the chaff grenade or something like that to stun them. I wonder if the, the more weight we carry, if that has a negative effect on us in some way. Okay. Grenade. And stamina use. Oh god. Oh god, there's a dude here. Get down. Get down, snake, go! Snake, what are you doing for fuck's sakes? Crawl through the thing, please. Holy shit, man. Okay, uh, I'm assuming snake's bad. 
Can I kill the snake? Okay. I don't think they'll see me here. I think we might actually be okay. Stamina use? Oh, like constantly hitting things with a knife or something like that? Is why we wouldn't want to do that? HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Okay, I think. Control here. I think we're okay. Got to give them a minute to to lose us. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Oh, carrying more weight. Duh. Yeah, that makes sense. But from the from the looks of it, there's nothing stopping us from going into the menu, like into the backpack at any time, like even in the middle of combat. So I guess it would be smart to just carry around like on us the very minimal stuff, and then it, whenever we need the other equipment, equip more of the shit. So we'll go to backpack. We know we don't need... Uh, I'm assuming we don't need the cigar now, even though that's, like, next to nothing. Motion detector? That would actually probably be really helpful. I still don't know what the anti-personnel sensor is. Bug juice? I guess that's to take bugs away? Uh, I guess we'll keep that on us. It weighs, like, next to nothing. We're going to mess around with some of that other stuff to figure out what the hell it does. I right, go ahead and unequip... All of that stuff for now. That's a lot less weight. Then we might as well go ahead and go into here. Act a sonar sensor that detects animals with sound waves. Consumes battery power while used. Sensor that detects an object's motion does not detect stationary objects. Okay, so this is like our, our mini map from before to let us know where people and things are. The only problem is, is that we can't use it indefinitely because of the battery. So I wonder, does putting it away, like, recharge the battery or... No. Yes, okay. Putting it away seems to recharge the battery. So we can use it a fair bit. We don't have to worry about it too, too much, but we can't just use it forever. I mean, there's no reason really for us to use it right this second since we are just kind of chilling waiting for these people to disappear well not the people to disappear but for the caution to disappear at least so they stop fucking looking for us <laughs> and then i feel like it may be time for a save i know like the checkpoint system seems pretty decent but I don't know how far back exactly it's going to send us, and uh, goddamn, we struggled to get where we're at. We probably shouldn't have <laughs> struggled to get where we're at, but we did. Okay, 16 seconds. We got this. Even though they saw me crawl into this building, or under this building area, whatever you want to call it. For some reason, they didn't think to look down here. Maybe they're scared of rats. I wonder if we can eat the rats in this game. We can eat the snakes and shit, so maybe. This is HQ. Patrol here. Situation is normal. Understood. Return to your position. Uh knife. Maybe we have to set a mouse trap to get a hold of them. You are a snake after all. Snake eat mouse. That's fair. Uh. Okay. I can't. Sh oh wait, no, 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 no. Square. That's how we do it. Is there anyone else around here? It doesn't look like it. So if we take out this guy, I think we'll be okay to pop up over here. Just got to wait for him to come back into view. 
Come on, guy. Come on. There he is. Nobody saw anything? I think we're okay. <laughs> then just slowly murder him. <laughs> you would think a special op uh, agent like ourselves would be able to murder a little bit more quickly than with a knife than, uh, than that, but it's fine. Okay, I hear footsteps. But I don't actually see anyone. There's a lot of stuff showing up on this motion detector. But I'm assuming some of that's probably like the mice and shit that's under the floorboards here. LF Med. Okay, so we're trying to get northwest. So that's top left corner. That area is all fenced in, so we probably need to go around in some way. Who's that? Oh, fuck. What's going on? Oh, fuck. Ow. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> You can't see me. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> Next room to your right. Oh, no shit. Okay. So not northwest, northeast. See, I told you I'd forget that, man. Did they, like, follow me under here or something? No, okay. They must just be trying to shoot me from, like, above. Can they see me under through the floorboards or something? How am I still on alert? Okay. I think we're okay. Yeah, even if they look through right there, they won't be able to see me. Okay. Oh, buddy. While we wait for this slow-ass counter to count down, we're going to go ahead and take our break, or run the ad at least. Um, that way, we don't have to take like a full break. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that now, but we're just waiting for this caution counter. We're probably fine to go ahead and crawl around. So, next room to the right from where we just were. God, are we safe to crawl around? I really don't know. Is that where... I think that's where... Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This is the same way we went last time. Before we came out there... But maybe... Okay, they're still looking for me. I'm going to hide in the same corner like we did last time. Maybe there's that other hole right there that we can see. Maybe if we come out that one, we'll be able to find a way in right above us. Or is that a hole in the floor there? Because it looks like there's some light shining down or something through the, through the floor. So maybe we can, like, pop up over there or something like that. Don't know, but it's an idea. It's something to try at least. And I'll I'll take it. <laughs> like, I'm hoping we can get at least uh at least one mission done here <laughs> before we run out of time tonight. No promises though. I am <laughs> I am not good at stealth games, man. Never have been. Doubt I ever will be. They're just they're just not made for me. <laughs> I 
20 seconds left. Let's go. I still can't believe that Shrek 2 won, guys. The uh, <laughs> the thing, the, the role to play as the next game that we complete. That's hilarious to me. The game that only had a few uh, meme votes from Mr. Noodle. <laughs> and it beat the ones that... I think Metal Gear Solid 2 is up to, what, like 30 now or something like that? At the time, I think it only had like 10 or 15, but still. Like... <laughs> oh, and then let's not forget Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts and uh, God of War both had a, a good handful of votes. Wait a second, is this like a trap door? Can we I hear something. Uh no you don't. I thought maybe if we smacked it we could open it up, but never mind, I don't think it works that way. Did we end up saving? We didn't end up saving. Let's save. Let's do that. <laughs> save oh not oh fuck <laughs> i keep pressing x to do things it's not x it's circle do you want to save yes paramedic or jane doe whatever you want to be called uh yes overwrite please and thank you And then the reason why I remembered to save all of a sudden is because I want to try hitting it again to see if I can pop open this trap door or whatever the hell it is, this this hatch. But I'm worried that if I hit it too many times, they'll catch on to where I'm at. So I thought maybe if we saved real quick, we would uh, at least have somewhere to reload from. Do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? We're not going to listen to it this time. <laughs> I'm sure it's some interesting information she has there, but God damn it, we got to get somewhere tonight. Okay, yeah, no, that didn't seem to do anything. Okay, maybe that's a way that we can sneak out, though. Open that up from the inside somehow, and then GTFO. Okay, no one over there. No one on this side. Hey, Silence, thank you so much for the resub, man. Should I be scared? <laughs> no need to be scared. I'm pretty scared, though. Just because I suck at these freaking games, man. Uh, Okay, no way in from over here. Also, hold on. Is there better camo that we can be wearing now? Camouflage face. Basically anything. Okay. Tiger stripe. You hear my phone vibrating? It's you. Sorry. Well, why are you spamming me with messages? <laughs> I do see a window. Can I climb in through it, though? Uh, I'm just going to back up slowly. Is that a ladder? I think that's a ladder. Oh, shit. Uh, hold on. Oh, fuck. Hi. Who's that? Nope. Nope. Stop. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Why? <laughs> Fucking climb. Quick. I don't think they saw me come up here. I don't actually know that to be true or false. But I don't think they did. They sure are shooting a lot, though, for not knowing where I'm at. Okay, yeah. So we're in the clear. But we still gotta find a way into that room. 
So I'm assuming we're going to have to jump back down there. And then work our way around. There's got to be a door here somewhere. But we can't do shit as long as these guys still see me. Or are looking for me. Because we were specifically told not to go into that room while we were in the caution phase. The alert phase. Ooh. Because bad things will happen. I'm assuming they'll, like, murder the scientist or something. I wish the caution thing didn't take quite as long, man. <laughs> Probably not, but can I take them out from up here? Ah, oh, fuck. They saw me. Okay, is there a load option? Because we could just load from where we just were, right? Start select L1, R1. That's not doing anything. You want to save? No. Okay, good luck, Snake. Thanks. I was hoping she'd be like, do you want to save? I'd say no, and she'd be like, oh, do you want to load? Mm, no dice, though. No enemies here, guys. It's all in your imagination. I'm pretty sure there's only one way up here, and I don't see anyone coming up this ladder, so... Should be okay. Fingers crossed. This looks like a better place to jump down, though, because I can see a door right there. So I think we found our way in, at least. Now it's just a matter of doing so without being spotted again. Which sadly takes a minute and a half. Well, more than, actually, because it's 99 seconds for the caution. But then you also have, like, what, a minute between the other two? Because this one seems to count down in real time. The other two seem to count down in whatever they want to. Not not real time, though. So we got three guys right in front of me here. Ooh, wait, are they over there? Are they all over there? Oh good, you got your buddy up. What's wrong? None of you are thinking to climb the ladder though, right? Oh god. Don't climb that ladder. Oh boy. I think my heart was going to stop, man. <laughs> like, as, uh, I was thinking he was going to climb that. I thought for sure we were fucked. I mean, like, I'm so tempted to just jump down, but I feel like if we do that, we're going to be spotted for sure. I think we just, we just got to be patient. We got to play the long game here. Wait for the caution meter to go away. Let everyone get back into whatever their positions are. See if there's anyone guarding this area. If there is, hopefully it's just one person. Quick trank to the head. And then we can we can sneak into the, uh, the scientist prison there. Or whatever you want to call it. Hopefully. Because goddamn it, if not, I don't know what the hell we're going to do. <laughs> We're just going to get fucked, I guess. <coughs> that motion detector battery actually lasts a pretty long time, doesn't it? 
we've been running it for well about a minute now i guess and still have over half charge on it i wonder if the birds and things do give away your position it makes at the very least they make sound right so i would have to imagine that whenever they get scared that that makes the enemies look in your direction at least okay as far as i can tell there's nobody in the room right below me but we are still in caution so they might move after uh after that ends in just a second here okay they're giving up their search they're moving back into their positions patrol here Is anybody going to guard this room right below us? Doesn't look like it. Do we have better camo for the roof? Because I want to move up to the edge, but I don't want to get spotted either. Tree bark? I mean, sure. And splitter. 55, I think that's as good as we're going to get. Okay, I saw a blip on the radar, like right below me, it looks like almost. Oh. Okay, just landing in the room was enough to trigger the next section. Oh, thank fuck, dude. <laughs> I thought for sure once we landed down here, we were going to have to do something else. I didn't know it was just going to put us in here. You must be so glad. Are you one of Vulcan's men? Here's hoping he comes peacefully. You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. <laughs> I've come to escort you. Vulcan in a fight kills someone and disappear, and they'll just sometimes be like, F it, I guess Reg, don't breathe right. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. Mm, okay, okay, okay. But we've got no time for this. You have so to when we traded him, we told him we'd arrive. get him back out. Who's they? Colonel Vulcan of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Of course we do. Yep. <laughs> Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far but the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position and on top of that the tragedy last november president kennedy's assassination precisely in a sense khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away a certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by it kind of looks like kratos or something forces. Overthrowing Khrushchev and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. 
but that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. What weapon would that be, sir? Don't suppose it's a uh, mobile nuclear missile launching the armored says tank they are going to Gundam thing? <laughs> the test. Then the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Oh, so they're not even expecting CIA, CIA right now, really. They're expecting an extremist Volgin faction to come, come in here and steal I'm this sure guy. It. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. <laughs> Where did you learn to speak it? <laughs> what the From fuck? My mentor. Are you wait, so Is that so? Are we are we supposed America to believe they're speaking Russian this whole time? <laughs> is that <laughs> what? Having second thoughts. No. I have no love for this place. Let's I'm go. I'm so confused. Like in the original Japanese version, were they speaking Russian here or something? Maybe I don't. <laughs> God, I'm choking on my own spit now. Oh fuck. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Is the boss part of that extremist group? I feel like the boss is going to be part of that extremist group in some way. Wait, can, so can we not use that trap door and crawl under the building and shit? Wait, is he like... The fuck is he doing? <laughs> At first, I thought maybe he's putting his hands up, so like if anyone saw him, he hopefully wouldn't be shot. But is he trying to like master some karate or some shit? Uh, snake. Freeze. GG. He's using the force. <laughs> so this is the legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Hey! What's a crew soldier doing here? Ocelot, who would have guessed? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. Heh. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What?
Oh, damn. <laughs> he ain't playing no games, boy. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, so if we meet Ocelot here, did we recognize him in Metal Gear Solid 1? Because I remember Ocelot being in MGS1, but... I don't remember them, like, mentioning Snake ever having met him. I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. Maybe I'm misremembering, though. Sokolov, take cover. Huh. Not the boss, are you? <laughs> the fuck, dude? I guess that's where he gets his name from. Crew operatives. What is that stance? That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. Aww, hate to see it, dude. Just shoot him, Snake. The fuck are you waiting for, man? You got a Trank gun. It takes a minute to work. <laughs> See, a normal game might let you play through all the sections, but nope. Metal Gear Solid knows what's up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me, honestly, of what Square Enix is constantly trying to do. Trying to make their games more and more cinematic, but they're trying to figure out ways for, like, gameplay to be more and more cinematic. Whereas Kojima was just like, fuck it, dude. Just make it a cinematic experience, literally. Like, <laughs> you the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you, huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American <laughs> dog! <laughs> Not an action movie, solid three, let's go. Like, he's even calling out the whole, like, uh, revolver thing and all of that, man. Some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Which is what Ocelot was using in MGS1. Pretty. I'm pretty good. sure, from what I remember. <sighs> Do we have, like, a memory wipe at some point? A glitch in the simulation? <laughs> I don't even want them to think they're playing a game. Exactly, man. I do recommend them, though. Like, no shit. They are actually really good. I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. 
These guys were after Sokolov, too. Too spoopy Apparently five they me? were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. Fucking weird, dude. Like, what is going on? <laughs> I have so many questions, not only about this game now, but just the the Metal Gear Solid lore as a whole. Like, I thought I was starting to understand what the hell is going on. And then, like, all of a sudden, it's everything's just flipped on its head. We have young Ocelot. Unless maybe, because they are genome soldiers later on, right? So maybe, like, they cloned him in some way or something. And that's the Ocelot that we ended up going against in MGS1. But then you would think that Snake here would still say something about that time he fought Ocelot. My memory's so bad though that it's just like I don't even know. <laughs> like <laughs> it could just be I could just be completely wrong about everything. I don't know, man. But fuck. Anyways, guys. Uh yeah, that was Metal Gear Solid 3. Like I said, actually pretty good. Pretty good. I'm ha I'm having fun with it so far. Uh the the stealth aspects do seem to be a lot more important in this one which means whenever we do decide to play through the game entirely because it's gonna happen sooner or later we may end up dropping the difficulty down i don't know can we do that once like we're in the game i'm assuming not oh we can like zoom in on snake <laughs> like is any of this for real or not Call back to Kingdom Hearts 1. Can we... Oh, fuck, dude. It's not X to select things. Circle. Can we change the difficulty mid-game? We cannot. So, yeah. Whenever we actually play the game, we may play on easy, which feels wrong. But at the same time, um, may just be the more enjoyable thing to watch instead of me redoing the same thing over and over again. Oh, God. I'm getting dizzy. I don't think Snake really cares. Is that something maybe that they added in the... Uh, the the improved version? Oh, shit. I hit the X button. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you have to leave the menu for it. <laughs> of course <laughs> oh god dude <laughs> that's great that's fantastic so much for not leaving any uh any bodily fluids behind huh like <laughs> that didn't work out so well but all right, guys, yeah, no, like I said, this is definitely going on the list of games to complete, but we're going to complete Metal Gear Solid 2 first, whenever that one ends up happening, and uh, then this one will go on. It's still going to be on the list, so if anyone wants to vote for it ahead of time, they can. We just won't be rolling on it for a little bit. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday, Wednesday, so we'll be playing some Shrek 2, starting around sometime between 5 and 6 o'clock, playing that for at least three hours. So I hope to see those of you that can make it there. Shrek 2 should be fun. I mean, it was pretty decent last time we played it, whenever we tried it for the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet. So uh, hopefully we'll continue to enjoy it. I thought a bear was growling for a second. It's actually just our stomach. IRL me is starting to get hungry too. I think I'm going to go warm up a bowl of soup. Anyways, guys, I hope you all have a good night. I hope to see you tomorrow. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. You sent me a GTA TikTok the other day, Mr.